Next we have a piano. First an acoustic piano, or a digital version of an acoustic piano. We can again filter some of the lower end, just in case, can't hurt. Add a little compression to make it smoother. Gate is not needed there. And I don't mess around too much with the equalizer. Typical for the reggae beat, we have now a that sometimes a Hammond organ, and sometimes it's strings somewhere here. So again, I won't do a lot to the equalizer because everything I change with the Hammond organ, it also changes with the strings, so I just leave it flat. It's alright. I leave it in the middle because it's a really percussive touch of an organ. In the reggae, they're called bubbles because they're kind of like an off off beat. And we can go on with the rhythm guitar. And this doesn't really sound good because it was plugged directly into the mixing desk and doesn't sound good. So again, a high pass filter to take some of that out, a compressor, just to take the edge off. Don't need a gate there. And it's nice and present in the midsection, so I want to... ...take out some bass that is not really needed. If I work with the high pass filter now, I could look where the guitar starts to get thin. around 120 but I will dial it up a little higher because that's where the bass sits and I don't want to have them in conflict. We have another guitar sits over here has a lot of delay a lot of sound already basically the only two things that really need the low end are the bass and the kick drum Everything else could really have a high pass filter. Even if they have that much lower end, it doesn't really add up in the mix. I have the piano set to the left, the bubbles right in the center because they're percussively important. Then I have the rhythm guitar that does more or less the same as the piano. So I have the piano on the left, the guitar on the right and the offbeat. You can just imagine having a lot of space between your left and your right loudspeaker. And you can basically picture your instrument sitting somewhere in between there. That's what you do with the panorama knob. You set them somewhere in between there. And if you don't put them all into the same spot, you can see them, you can hear them actually a lot better. So let's see what else we have. There is a brass, a saxophone and a trombone. They're already linked, so we have them. And just to hear the transients, to, to, to hear niceness in the highest. And if we use a compressor, we can control this. And now we can look for some warmth in the trombone. Actually, the saxophone is a lot deeper than the trombone in this part, so.
but maybe we can get through with this kind of sound in the mix. Now we have some more guitars. We have, uh, for instance, guitar solo. There, there were two guitars playing the solo. One and the other. We can set them to a stereo configuration. And let's listen to both of them. We have some effect guitars in the end. They just help the brass. Let's hear them together. I don't know, they don't sound that great. Maybe with a little reverb. Shouldn't be that present. <laughs> <laughs> 